morning and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Wednesday, November the 7th, and we're glad to have you with us today. My friend Diana Moxon is sitting on to the right of me. Hello. Columbia Artley, good to have you here. Stella. Uh, we're here to talk about something you've got coming up on Friday. Friday. Well, we have a workshop. We do, you know, art classes for okay. children and adults. Well, I know you we, do art classes. Yeah. <laughs> wanted to say that so yeah. that you could mimic it. But um, <laughs> yes, the art classes. So we have a special workshop this week for adults. Uh -huh. um, and it's a watercolor based workshop. And it is called Art of the Greeting Card. So we it's have called what? Art of the Greeting Card. You know, like making your own holiday season cards. Oh, art of the greeting card. Sorry, is that not what I said? <laughs> <laughs> I must get my American accent. That's better. okay. That's okay. Um, art of the greeting card. Yes. So people can come in and make their own greeting holiday cards. greeting cards. Yes, and we have a wonderful artist from uh, St. Louis called Linda Green Metzler, and she's going to be coming in and leading the workshop for the day. And it runs from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you can bring your own uh, like a landscape or a, a picture with you, a photograph or your mm -hmm. own still life, and she'll show you how to set it up, how to make your original watercolor card, and then talk about the best way to reproduce it, and so that you'll have your own personalized wow. holiday season card. So you mean you could you could out. bring uh, uh, if you wanted to put your house on yeah. the Christmas card, and then you're going to turn it into watercolor? Yep, she'll show you how to watercolor it. So it might be a beautiful scene that you saw on your vacation, or it might be your home, or it might be a scene like, you know, Christmas tree, or it might so just be something. So you bring in a photograph? You can do, or you could bring in a still life. You might want to do, um, you know, you might have a, a, a group of ornaments that you really like, so you could bring those in, and then she'll show you again how to do what a watercolor. What if you have no talent? <laughs> Everybody has talent, Paul. Even you could do it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like the way you say that. Like, but uh, so it, everybody can do it. It'll be what, Friday night? It's Friday day, actually. It's 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday during the day. Yeah, so it's okay. all day Friday and um, it's working, working in watercolor. So, yes, ideally, you would have definitely some experience of watercolor painting. But we have so many great watercolor artists, you know, mm -hmm. in and around Columbia. And then it's going on on the weekend, too, or just Friday? No, it's just Friday. It's okay. just 10 till 5 on Friday. Okay. And so you can uh, you can book it online. You can go to ColumbiaArtLeague.org and click on the classes. And then you can scroll down and see the workshop there listed. And you can either give us a ring. You can ring, ring me up. Ring me up. Oh, okay, that's the way they up. say it in England. Ring me up and, and pay over the phone, or you can uh, book it online. We have like a PayPal connection via the website, so you can pay for it online. Now, our workshops do often sell out, so, um, you know, uh, do, don't delay. Okay, but you still have spots available right now. I do believe so, yes. But yes. operators are standing by <laughs> at this point. What's well, not your... at this point because I'm here. But right after this okay, point. Okay, you're going to leave here. Being the operator as well as everything else. Okay, yes. all right. So what's your phone number to call? <laughs> it is 573-443-8838. Okay, 573-443-8838. Okay, so give her just a few minutes to get there. Exactly. And don't delay. And also we've got the new show this week as well. And our opening reception is tomorrow night on Thursday. Okay, what is that new show? It's the Give a Gift of Art, the annual members show, the holiday oh, season. Oh, okay, okay. That'll be tomorrow night, Thursday night. Yes. November the 8th. Correct, 6 okay. till 8. And then Friday. Is the workshop 10 till 5. November the 9th, uh, 10 to 5 in the morning. Correct. Okay, thank you. You can call the Columbia Art League or you can go online for more information. Diana Moxon, always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Paul. Now, our next guest has an event uh, coming up on Friday too, but I believe it's Friday evening, right? Yes. Christine Seitz, good to have you here. MD nice School to see of you, Music. Paul. Yes. Tell me about your, uh, your event. Well, I'm really excited to talk about this this year. Um, I have been opera director at the School of Music since the fall of 2008. Yeah. And we do a scenes program in the fall. This is selections from many different operas so that everybody in the class who's in the opera workshop class gets a chance to strut their stuff in a scene that's really like appropriate the that. for opera, them. Strutting their stuff. Right. But you know, when you, when you bring the singers on here on Radio Friends, they're wonderful. They really they, oh, they sing so beautifully. Yes. The, what were you here? Uh, uh, you had About a, a month ago. And, yeah. yeah. And uh, just sitting in here listening to them, it was magic. Well, thank it, you it very much. It was magic. And it's hard to believe that the power that comes out of these little girls. I, I know. Guess. They're 
un mostly undergraduates. I have a few graduate students and the rest of my class is undergraduates, but it's going to be a really exciting program. And this year we're in the Missouri Theater for the first time since I've been here. Mm -hmm. So it will be Friday night the 9th and Saturday night the 10th at 7.30 both nights. Okay, oh, so good. You're not really competing with her greeting cards uh, <laughs> no, from 10 I to 5. Not. Right. You can go make greeting cards <laughs> during uh, the day. During the day, and then you can go to the uh, opera and at night time. Come to the opera program. Yes. Okay, so what are, can you give us a little idea of what's on the program? Well, I, I was just counting up uh, the different operas that we're selecting from. We have 12 scenes taken from 12 different operas, and it's Are you a, doing the same program each night? Each night it'll be the same program. So um, it's really interesting. There's a scene from a, a piece that was came from Britain but was the big hit in the colonies before our American Revolutionary War. And the, the work is called Love in a Village. And this was the piece that everybody who went out to see anything went to during, mm. during the Revolutionary War era in America. Really? So it was really, really popular then and has fallen on, you know, no one knows about it much anymore. So it's a little bit of a historical rediscovery yeah, of this work. Yeah. Um, we're doing four or five selections from various Mozart operas. We've got um, the piece Norma by Bellini, Barber of Seville, um, Dido and Aeneas by Purcell, a piece in Russian from an opera by Rimsky-Korsakov called The Golden Cockerel, which is just the most exotic and beautiful music I've ever heard. Mm. Fantastic. The trio that you remember with the ladies that were here yeah. a few weeks ago. And we're ending our program with a beautiful chorus scene written by Puccini for his opera La Rondine, mm -hmm. which is just surreally beautiful. And, and you just won't believe it. So you have to come and okay. you'll enjoy. Oh, well, I, I, I believe that it will be beautiful. You know, the fact that we have performances like this available right here in central Missouri is pretty outstanding. Yeah, I it's think pretty so, outstanding. Too. It's a very exciting program, and the students are singing at a very high level. It's yeah. really exciting to work so with them. So if people want tickets, it will be Friday well, night and Saturday night. Here's the good part. It's... It's free and open to the public. But how do they get tickets? Can they just... just come in. It's a donation taken at the door. Oh, okay, so you don't even make reservations ahead of time. Nope, just come. And what happens if you have such a massive crowd you can't oh, get everybody in? I love it. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> so you just come, you make a donation. Is there a right. suggested donation? Yeah, suggested donation, $5. That's what we oh, do my for goodness. most of our school That's a steal. Events. That's a steal. Isn't that a steal? Okay, yeah. thank you, Christine Seitz. Mark it on your Thanks, calendar. Paul. Friday night and Saturday night and 10 o'clock from 10 to 5 for Diana Moxon, all right? Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute Audio is Kyle Fellings from KBIA. Our floor director is Charles Minshew and our assistant producer, guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.